All right, it is Friday. Yes, Friday, it is that time of the week, and you know what that means. It's time for the NPL Video Game Club, so thank you so much for stopping by on this corner of the internet as you listen to the wonderful and soothing Super Monkey Ball music. So thank you for stopping by on today, which is Friday, October 15th, halfway through the month of October. Can you believe it? How time flies. It's a quite amazing so yeah thank you for stopping by as always we do appreciate it and as always aldo here from Norwalk public library hope you are having a good time hope you're having a good week a productive week a wonderful week uh, right here in uh in connecticut uh, according to my weather here it's 77 degrees sunny i actually just stepped out uh, a little couple minutes, maybe 10 minutes prior, went for a little walk, uh, a little, little, little walk. A little humid for my taste, but uh, nonetheless, in your neck of the woods, if it's nice, enjoy, enjoy the weather. Uh, it looks like summer, at least here in the Northeast, is temporarily back before we lean back into the fall-like weather. So if it's nice where you're at, go and go for a stroll, go for a walk, breathe in some natural air. <clears throat> It's, it's, uh, it's always nice to see some uh, nature while you're at it. Bones, what's up, buddy? Happy Friday to you, my man. Happy Friday. It is beautiful where you are. All right. Well, I'm sure it is 50% more beautiful whenever you're around. So just remember that, Bones. You the man. So um, I, I've got a couple things to talk about here. Before we begin with our game, which you were here last week, you'll remember that we were playing Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Um, but before I begin with that, I have a couple little things to talk about. Uh, most importantly, Linda, what is up? Yes. What is up? Working and lurking. You know what? I won't tell if you don't tell. And Bones, Bones won't tell if you don't tell. How about that? Thank you for stopping by, Linda. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. But before we begin with our game, uh, Soup Du Jour of the Day, which is going to be Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, got some little things to talk about. So, uh, for those of you who may remember, we were doing some charity streams here on behalf of the library uh, a couple months ago, we were doing last year. Um, that was put on hold um, for reasons I really can't go into. Nonetheless, uh, I am happy to report that um, we are, I am doing a charity stream on my own, uh, continuing the extra life that uh, we've been able to amass for the, for the beginning of the year. Um, so this one is not associated with the library. I will disclaim from the very beginning, uh, there is no, associated, no association with the library, but this particular stream, um, this is completely my own project. So 100% me. So, but without further ado, I just wanted to talk about it real quick. So this is actually going to go down on Saturday, November 6th. Uh, excuse the very quickly whipped up graphic, but uh, this is actually Extra Life has a special dedicated day that they have throughout the year. One day of the year, which is usually early November, where uh, it's called their game day. So basically, they try to get everyone involved as, as much as possible to uh, play some games and raise some money for children in need. So uh, what I'm going to be doing there is you'll actually be seeing it on my personal Twitch, uh, not YouTube. I'm going to be trying it on Twitch this time, see where that goes. So if, uh, right now, November 6th, uh, I wasn't able to cook up a official graphic <laughs> for the time being. I'll be doing that this week, and I literally just came up with this yesterday uh, with the date. So if you are interested in checking this out, again, I'll be doing this on my personal Twitch channel. I'll be leaving a link in the chat if you want to check it out. And in addition, uh, the donation page for the Extra Life itself, if you want to check that out, will be right here in the chat as well. So again, as I mentioned, um, this is not affiliated with the library. This is 100% uh, me this time around, but nonetheless, continuing on the, the positivity that we've been able to garner thus far for the first half of the year, looking to close out 2021 with a bang. So uh, just to give you some perspective, we had a overall goal of the year for $2,000 and so far we've been able to break, uh, I think as of last night I received a donation. So right now I'm at 
$1,156. So a little more than halfway there. Hopefully on the game day, you can go ahead and uh, make some more and then, you know, change the lives of kids in need. So you are around. If you want to spread the word with the links below, uh, you are absolutely more than welcome to. I really appreciate it. Bone says, Aldo, I've been playing a new game called Glow that you should try. Oh yeah, what, what the, what's that game about? GLO, I don't think I've heard of it before. Load of Barnacles, I think I know who you are. Thank you for stopping by here at the NPL Video Game Club. So this is a family-friendly stream that uh, I do here on behalf of my job at the Norwalk Public Library. I do this every Friday uh, from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Family-friendly block, two hours of games. And discuss it, just uh, a place to hang out, a place to feel safe, a safe space for gamers. So we're just talking about uh, this particular charity stream that I'm going to be doing on Saturday, November 6th. If you look at the chat, I do have my links um, in there if you were interested in checking it out. Link to my personal Twitch where the stream will be held. And in addition, I also have the donation link if uh, anyone is so inclined to send a donation or even just spread the word. Uh, any, any type of word of mouth is greatly appreciated. So uh, in advance, on behalf of myself, thank you so much for, uh, for doing what you can. So, okay, on to business number two. I wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, one of our employers here at the library. Shout out to Lisa over in the children's department. Uh, she has a page on Instagram called Story Craftopia. So she actually makes perlers. So for those of you who don't know what perlers are, she actually makes these images. As you can see right here, there's a Piplup from Pokemon, a Yoda. So she takes these little beads or perlers and puts them all together to make an image of something. How she does it, I don't know. I, I don't know the art of perlers, but uh, she is very good at it. And... Uh, you know, if you're looking for a really cool treat or a, a, a cool gift for someone, uh, this is definitely a great way to look and check it out. Um, just to, to support a small business as well, a uh, small creator. Uh, so I have a link to her Instagram page for Storycraftopia in the chat if you want to check out her wares. She's got quite a few gaming-related things, and she will also be, if you look at the... Uh, the top left there, she will be at Retro World Expo, which is a big uh, com uh, Connecticut video game convention. So it'll be from November 6th to 7th. She actually has a booth. So she will be there selling perlers and other goodies as well. So especially right now with the holidays coming up, it's a wonderful gift to give to somebody. You know, like for example, in the case of Pokemon, say somebody loves Pokemon. Well, she'll have Pokemon themed perlers there. Someone, in this case, you know, someone like Star Wars. Oh, look, you can get a, a really cute Yoda perler. Uh, for example, to give you some perspective, she actually whipped up a baby, uh, not baby, a uh, crocodile Loki, or as they call Crokey, from the Loki Disney Plus show. My sister's a huge fan, and she created a crocodile Loki for me. And my sister absolutely loved it, and, and she was pretty much on the verge of tears when she saw it. So, shout out to Lisa. Thank you so much for making my sister's day. And if you can make her day by checking out her Instagram page in the chat. So, the links are in the chat if you want to check it out. All right. So, with that business, we are moving on to the main course here today. We're continuing our playthrough of Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. So, this, uh, for those who don't know, Cliff's Notes. This is a remaster. This literally came out last week, I believe October 5th, so 10 days from t uh, 10 days ago. Uh, so this is a remake of Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2, which were originally released on the GameCube. And I believe it also has stages from Super Monkey Ball Deluxe, which was released on the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox. So it's kind of the best of everything. I think of it as a greatest hits collection. You know, the Super Monkey Ball games have kind of you know, depending on who you ask, some people like, uh, really love, well, most people, I think the vast majority love the original two games, and DX. And kind of the games that came out after were a little bit on the iffy side. So this is kind of a return to form, uh, where Sega is bringing back the magic, as it were. So it's a really cool game. We, we 
made through, I think, two worlds yeah, last week. I could be wrong, but uh, that's where we're going to be continuing today. So let's switch on over to the overlay here. And uh, let me just catch up here with the chat. You indeed know who I am. Well, thank you, Loader Barnacles. Thank you so much for stopping by here at the NPWD Game Club. Bone says, look it up. It's fun. You're a cube that jumps and glows through levels. I will set a reminder for the stream, brother. Thank you, Bones. That's uh, extremely kind. And you will be seeing on my personal medias, uh, social medias, not personal medias, uh, social medias, I, I will, once I create a official video trailer, as it were, for the stream, I will be spamming the heck out of it. That's, that's what I do. So you, for better or for worse, will hear about it from me. And again, this particular charity stream is not associated with the library. This is 100% me. I just figured I'd talk about it real quick on here. But just to for forward, Norwalk Public Library is not associated with this particular Extra Life stream. It's all me. But I'd love to have you stop on by and support nonetheless. Big Cass, what is up? Happy Friday to you, Big Cass. Thank you so much for stopping by. Just got home lurking for a second while I deal with my doggies. I'm so glad to hear Rupee is good. Let's give a round of applause for Rupee. Um, Rupee had a bit of a situation, but Rupee is all good now. So thank you, Rupee. So glad to see you in good spirits. All right. So shout out to Rupee. Shout out to Maple. Shout out to Big Cass. Shout out to Tom because they are cool. Cool peeps. You're all cool peeps. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and fire up this here. Uh, let's see, you know what? I thought I had Steam opened, but apparently Steam decided to close on me. No, wait, there it is. All right. I had to get a little funky here. All right, so controller's plugged in. We are good to go. Let me uh, fire up Super Monkey Ball here. Hello, everyone. Yes, round of applause. Thank you for the round of applause. So what we try to do here, a uh, load of barnacles, since you are new, and for anyone else who may be watching by chance here at the uh, NPL Video Game Club, you know, the internet is a very wild and crazy place. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, bad things you could stumble across, a lot of uh, negativity that you could find, and we try to take all that negativity and turn it around, do a 180. All about positivity here. We try to look out for one another, try to encourage one another. Um, you know, it's a safe space. So thank you for those of you who continue to stop by every week. On behalf of myself and the Royal Public Library, we do appreciate your continued support. It's a, uh, it's cool that we've been able to amass a small but mighty loyal following here. So it's, it's really cool. All right, so... Where did we leave off here? Now, you know, in this game, there was a... Uh, I know Hello Kitty is here, but I, I think I have to buy Hello Kitty separately. I, I'm guessing that's what it is. All right, so... Uh, for those of you who may not have seen last week, so the cool thing about this game, if you get the DLC, which I think is the... Uh, I had pre-ordered this. This was the Digital Deluxe Edition. So these are the normal skins you can play as with everyone. But, with the, with the pre-order and the DLC, you can switch them to their GameCube skins. Well, in this case, I got an extra one for Gon Gon. Because Big Cass told me to get the Frankenstein one. Look at, look, at, look at those cute GameCube skins, right? And then also, uh, I unlocked Sonic the Hedgehog. Tails. Oh, Tails is so cute. Kazuma Kiryu from the Yakuza games. And beat from Jet Set Radio for the Dreamcast. Speaking of Dreamcast, you can play as a Dreamcast. You can also play as a Sega Saturn, Japanese Model One Sega Saturn to be exact, and a Sega Game Gear. How cool is that, right? So there are other unlockables too, but I guess you need to buy those separately. Sam, what is up? Happy Friday to you, Sam. Yes, there's Sonic. So um, yes, welcome to welcome back, Sam. Hope you are well. I know it's been a couple weeks. So yes, in Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, there are many unlockable characters. And so the thing is, as you play the game, you unlock points, and then the points you can use to buy characters in the shop. 
So you don't actually have to spend real money on this. The only thing you'd be spending real money on is to get these GameCube skins for the characters and the uh, consoles. Uh, whether or not those will later on be available with points, I don't know. But uh, as of this point, uh, you do have to buy those these with real money. But that's cool. It, it's all good. That's awesome, OMG. Yeah. So actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to all of you in the chat. <clears throat> Who do you want me to play as? So last week I played as Gon Gon. Gon Gon is my favorite. Uh, ever since the game came out on GameCube, I always played as Gon Gon. I just always. Oh no, he always uh, gravitated to me. I like Gon Gon. So, uh, who would you like me to play as? Would you like me to play as Sonic or Tails or one of these uh, guest characters or maybe one of these, Yan Yan and Doctor, who I'm not familiar with? There are GameCube skins for them, but honestly, I don't remember them being on GameCube. So, I think they just created these skins to uh, mimic the style of GameCube, but I don't think they were in the games. I could be wrong. All right, so Sam says Sonic. I, I, Sam is a Sonic fan. Cass says Tails. Load of Barnacles says Sonic. Do we have a tiebreaker? That's the question. Oh, wait, Sam said Sonic, 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 Tails, Sonic, Sonic. I think he's going for Sonic, though. What about, what about Bones? Uh, does Bones have a... Or Linda, or do any of you have a tiebreaker to give? Right now, Sam, oh wait, Sam changed. Tails, play it. Tails is so cute, right? Yeah. All right, so we, we could do that. So you know what, we'll do Tails. I'm going to be very sad not playing as Gon Gon, but I think what happens too, instead of bananas, um, the bananas turn into rings, I think, is what happens. All right, so story mode. And I completed Jungle Island, Volcanic Magma. And now World 3, Under the Ocean. All right, so the first stage, Organic Form. And let us go. Tails, oh, Tails is so cute. Tails is so adorable, especially old school Tails. That little tiny nose. He's just so happy. This is so cute. No doubt. All right. So this is... Oh. All right. So you notice that that goes real fast. But the thing is, you want to turn around and hit the switch. See? Notice the, the bananas turn into rings. And it has the ring sound. How cool is that? Oh, wait. I'm supposed to... Silly me. Let me reset. Because <laughs> I hit the switch again. I need to miss the switch. Flip it. Look at how cute Tails is. Oh, just want to hug him and squeeze him. All right, so now these aren't anywhere near as bad. You kind of got to just ride the current and just hope you don't get bumped. Slow and steady wins the race. There you go. Don't you love how they, they, the bananas turn into rings? That is so cool. Nostalgia, yes. I, I believe this particular stage is Monkey Ball 2. Because I think Monkey Ball 1 had the ships in the background. I think. I could be mixing it up, though. Reversible gear. Alright. So again, there are always... Ring, there are always rings in the back. You always gotta remember that. And... Ooh. Look at that. So you gotta... You gotta cut through... And look, the picture has a picture of tails. All right, so I need to cut through in the middle because there is a goal right there. All right. 
So I want to try to get these in the corner. It'd be pointless for me to get the... Now see, the ones in the middle, I think those count for 10 bananas each. I don't need to worry about that, because that's just... I gotta figure out which one is the one with the hole. Oh, uh, there it is. Uh, well. Six, five, four. Nope. Just timing. Just timing. You gotta find the entrance. You know what? At this point, let's just go and hope you could find it. All right, so it'll be somewhere around here. Ah, you, you just got to find it and run. That's basically what it is. All right. Look at his tails move, too. How cute is that? All right. You kind of got to follow it until it slows down. So we got to hope. Oh, all right. So it's right around here. If it keeps spinning the same ways, it should return. Slow down here. Oh, 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 oh. All right. I think it, it, it spins the same way, so. All right, so right around here. I gotta watch out for. Then when I see it, Ah, uh, that's what it is. You just got to find the spot where it's at. And then book it. And you will find it. I wonder if there's a switch, though, to, s to slow it down. Alright, so not there. And... Ah, uh, that was so close. Look at that. I had it. It's just a matter of finding it. Now, how somebody can get all of the rings in one go, I don't see how that's possible. But I'm sure the speedrunning community has a way of doing it. All right, there it is. So I gotta wait for it to come back. Slow down. Oh. You just gotta be right on it. There it is. Oh my word, it kicked me out still and I was in there. Ready? Wow. How about that? Let me uh, catch up here with the chat. Nostalgia poggers. He f I don't know what pog means. I'm old. So if someone could explain to me what pog means, I keep seeing it, but I have no idea. I'm coughing a lot and I had to stay home from school, but I at least got to come here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sam. Hopefully you do feel better soon. Again, your health is the most important thing. So thank you for stopping by, even though you're sick. Hopefully you feel better. Sending you positive vibes, buddy. That sucks, Sam. I'm sorry, but I feel your pain right now because I got the second dose of Pfizer and my bones are not happy right now. That happens, yeah. I I got uh, Moderna, and um, I didn't I didn't get any pains. Uh, well, the second shot, the first shot, I was fine, outside of some soreness where uh, I was given the shot. Second one, overnight, I got a huge like fever, chills, sweats, um, shaking, uh, and that la and I was out for about three days, so it, it did knock me out. Um, does anyone here play Terraria? I do not. I've heard about the game, but I have not played it. Looks tricky. Hope you feel better, Sam. And Barnacles, hope you feel well soon, too. Yeah. 
Thanks, guys. Pretty sure I'm coughing because of my asthma. Because on Thursday, uh, Wednesday, I have this thing called Jogathon, and it's basically just run around and raise money. Okay. Hog, play the game. Ah, it was real to show how clueless I am. Thank you for the the uh, education barnacles. And I guess I just ran so much like my chest was on fire when I was running. I'm just coughing so much because I have asthma. Yes, I've been coughing for a while. Yeah. Hopefully it'll it'll subside soon. Just remember to anytime you have coughs like that, you definitely want to um, you definitely want to to drink your fluids for sure. Right, let me try that again. We're gonna keep going though. You know what? Patience is a virtue with Monkey Ball. You always. You know, and, and then when you pull it off, it just feels so rewarding. So it's all good. Oh, wrong one. Oh, look at poor Tails when he falls. Oh, no. Persistence, but I just love how his tail moves. So it's not just like a, a cheap skin. You know, they put some detail into it, some thought. All right, so it stops right there. That's when it slows down. So I got to figure out when the right time is to move in. But it slows down. That was already... Nope. That was too late. I got to go in quicker. All right, so... We will do this. I believe in you, Tails. I believe. All right, there it is. Straight shot. I just gotta wait for it to wind up again. There it is. I'm not sure what the actual trick is to this. There probably is an easier way. But persistence pays off. You will get there. Stay hydrated. Absolutely. Thank you for the further thumbs up. All right, so now we do stage 3-3, Stepping Stones. Go. All right, so you could go for the bananas back here. So keep in mind, with this uh, monkey ball, you can actually move the camera, which is new. Um, that is a bit different. Hasn't been done before with the previous games, so... And then here, you want to... kind of find a way... Try not to fall in the middles here, because that was what's going to mess you up. And then just slowly but surely, make your way through. Making sure. And, uh, messed up. <laughs> but that is the gist. You want to go through and not fall through the holes, because that's what's going to mess you up. So you kind of want to fall through... And keep in mind where you're going, too. So not too fast, because if you go too fast, you will bounce off. Unless you're a speedrunner and you know the physics. Alright, so there we go. Uh, and up. Uh, too fast. See? That's what happens. You, you kind of a, a balance of fast and steady. That's basically what it is. And you want to kind of move to the sides, because that's the best way to deal with this. It's not worth getting the rings. So it might just be too much trouble. And then from here... Oh! Alright. So you want to move to the left. On that last drop is what you want to do. Alright, so I'm sticking on the right here. But eventually, I want to move to the left. That's what I want to do. So basically on this one, I want to try to move to the left. Here we go. And then switch over here. There you go. Eventually, you'll figure out the trick.
All right. And again, every time you complete a stage, you get coins. Uh, so you'll notice that it says I have 11,409 coins. So those are the coins that you use to buy extra things in the game. Um, so as long as you play well enough, uh, you can rack up quite a few points to buy a lot of things. 8-Bit Glitch 79, happy Friday to you, my friend. What is going on? How is that uh, post too many games? Any uh, any post uh, con cold or hopefully not? Hopefully you're doing well, my friend. Playing some Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. All right, dribbles. So there is a switch to slow the little bubbles down. There you go. Yeah, I want to make sure I don't hit the switch to make them go fast. All right, so what you got to look out for here is the shadow. The shadow is what's going to mess you up. So you want to avoid that. All right. And just make your way through. There probably is a way to skip some of this, but... Alright, so the next one is right there. I want to skip that. And look, already running out of time. Ooh, can I do it? Can I do it? Yep. Right on time. Call your kids cold. Alright, ooh. Well, I mean, hey, as a as a parent, uh, I'm not a parent, but I would imagine um, better you than your children, right? That's the the ultimate sacrifice a parent must make. All right, so I gotta head out for a few, but I'll try to stop back in. Have to do some car stuff before I can sell it, and might as well do it. While the sun is shining. Yeah, absolutely. Best of luck on selling the car, Big Cass. Hopefully you get some nice money for it. Thank you, Big Cass. Youngest got it, then oldest, now wife and I. Just remembered why I own DuckTales Remastered. Ah, yes, because we did that, uh, ooh, how many months ago now, right? That was a fun game. I really liked DuckTales Remastered. I, I thought it was great. Uh, an amazing love letter to the show. I know people gave it criticism for saying that it cutscenes were too much, but I mean, it's like watching an episode of the TV show, so what's the problem? Uh, I remember this one on GameCube, yep. So you just gotta hope you don't get pushed. Because basically you wanna hightail it and whoop. just move around a few more and then just make your way slowly and boom money yes was a while ago when I played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fun game, though. It's a great game. I loved it. Um, heck, you even saw me singing the theme song. You know, it's very again. Ducktales was a big part of my childhood. I think anyone who was born in the eighties uh, has, has a big fond uh, soft spot for Ducktales. So, World Three Six Mad Rings. Ooh, all right. So what's back here? More rings. Oh, oh. The ring saved me. Now wait a minute. There was a separate goal. So I'm going to want to retry that because you get more points if you get the other goals. Ready? Go. 
So that's the one thing with Monkey Ball is... Uh, oh, there are always multiple exits in some stages. In the old Monkey Ball games, it would give you... Um, oh, it would give you... Uh, you would warp to another world. Uh, because this is story mode, you don't have to do that. All right, so get this one. Get more rings for that. How many more? 500. And I think the other one is 1,000. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Stage select. No, no. I want to go back to stage select. want to redo that one. So I want to go for the third ring now. Ooh, I did not uh, time that one right. Did not time that one right either. Alright, Tails. Let's go, buddy. There it is. Should get a thousand points for that. Yep. So that brings me to 15,000. Curvy options. All right. So now this one. Oh. You got to make some uh, choices here. Make sure you don't fall off. Now some of these are thinner than others. This is like the norm medium route. I could try the other ones to make it a little harder. What do you think? Should I try it? Should I try that? Yeah, I'll try the next one. A little bit thinner. Test my balance here, right? Alright, so. So already this one is thinner. So you just gotta feel it. You know, it's, it's, it's tough. But as long as it's slow and steady, you should be okay. Should be. I said that and fell out. So again, it's trickier. But I tell you what, some of those dedicated monkey ball players can do this easy. Like, no problem. And, oh. Ready? Go. I love how tails, uh, his tails move. That's so cute. So it's a nice attention to detail that they put. You know, they, this could have just been a simple reskin without the detail. But, oh, no, 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 oh, oh. All right, all right. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. You know what it is? It's that last ramp. It's an upward ramp. So it just becomes harder. Because you're, you're going to be off balance. Just with the analog stick, you kind of got to feel it out. Just hope you don't tip it over too much. Now, you could move the camera in this one. Oh, oh. Signing off for work, you're going to go lay down. Yeah, absolutely. Epic glitch. Hope you feel better, my friend. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a uh, Hopefully, uh, it's just an overnight thing. And hopefully, by tomorrow, you'll be up and good to go. You'll be no death running Contras in, in no time. All right, so up. Uh, no, no helper. No, no, no. So that's a new thing too with this particular game. So I guess if you keep dying in a stage, it'll eventually ask you if you want, I guess, 
easy mode. I don't know what that does. I don't know if it gets rid of some of the pits or, or what. Um, or maybe, I don't know, honestly, what it does. I don't know if it auto clears the stage for you or, or what. All right. Assuming I don't mess this up, this should be good to go. There you go. So, uh, you know, they make Monkey Ball more accessible for newcomers. Oh, there's the ship. Okay. I see the ship now. Twist and spin. So for those of you who were here when I was playing through Super Monkey Ball uh, Banana Blitz, this is so much better. It, it's such a uh, nice return to form. There you go. You want to just go through that fast enough. And just get the extra rings. Be careful not to fall off the edge. And there you go. Now, also, you may be hearing the old announcer. Um, he's actually not in this game. But if you have the PC version, there is a way to restore him. Uh, they did replace it with a female announcer. And, you know, I'm sure she's great. But for the sake of Monkey Ball nostalgia, um, I prefer the original announcer. Which is why on the computer version, you're able to change it. If you feel the need. So, shout out to PC Mods. World 3-9 Cascade. Alright. So yeah, what do you all think of Monkey Ball Banana Mania so far? It's pretty darn fun, right? Alright, so I think each one has a... ...descent. Then I kind of want to... ...go down each level. Make sure I don't fall. And this will be the last one. And there we go. Oh, look at look at Tails. He claps when you win. That's so cute. He's so adorable. Have a good stream. Yeah, thank you. Maybe, oh no, I said that already. But thank you, Big Glitch. Appreciate it. All right. So seventeen thousand four hundred eight coins. I think that's the most I've had so far. This should be the final level in this world. Junction. Ah, uh, but wait a minute. There's an alternate route. Aha. Oh. Ready? Go. Wait a minute. So there's a hard mode. So it can go through there. That's the other warp. This is the main one. But if you get enough speed and jump over there, you can go to the hard. Okay. So do normal for now. And then just go through. Then you want to climb up into the goal. <laughs> that one wasn't bad. You mean the deep blue sea, it says? I can't replay it. Alright, because it's the cutscene plays next. I will replay it though, because I want that other exit. Just to challenge myself. There's Dr. Bad Boon. Jetsen 10, what's up? Happy Friday to you, my friend. Yes, playing as Tails, aka Miles Prower. How are you doing today, my friend? Dr. Bad Moon has an idea of a door. Oh, wait a minute. Peace has been achieved. Wait a minute. All right, next world. Pro skaters. 
All right, so what I want to do is I want to go back to stage select. I want to try that other stage. Because I want, I want the harder exit. I want the points. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go over here. Get up enough speed. And then... So this one's a little bit trickier. Not as bad, though. Boom. There it is. You get a 500 points for that, I believe. Doing well, brother. Made it through another week. Hope everyone is doing well. Yes, doing all right. Can't complain. You know, got... Got the sunny sky above us, got some good vibes, got you all hanging out here in the video game club. Can't ask for more on this Friday afternoon, so glad to hear you're doing well. Uh, what games are you playing? Actually, that'd be a good question to ask everyone here. Uh, I know Bone said he was playing the uh, G-O... was it G-O-L? I think is what he said. Uh, what games are you all playing this week? Anything new? Anyone got any game recommendations? Um, well, I'm I'm usually, well, Super Monkey Ball, Banana Mania. I mean, this is a, a brand new game. Came out last week, October 5th. Again, if you never played the Monkey Ball games, it's a really good way to, um, to introduce yourself to the series. Because, uh, you know, Monkey Ball is known to be very difficult. And this is, uh, it has a lot of options to make the game easier for newcomers. All right, so what you want to do... You want to time it. You want to time it so it's in the middle there. Which is not what I'm doing here. There it is. There's your standard exit. That's one way to do it. I want to retry though, I want to get the other goal. So I remember I was able to get it before. Just a matter of luck, really. Oh. Kind of just got to... That's such a narrow way to get it. Yeah, I don't remember how to do this one. Ready? Go. Hmm. So this seems to only affect that one. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a button to, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to get that one. Interesting. I'm highly interested in the new Metroid. Might cave in and grab it. Ah, the, uh, Metroid Dread, right? 
I've heard uh, mixed things about it. I, I think one of the th the problems that people are saying is it's way too hard. Um, but again, the, the Metroid games have never really been easy, right? Um, so I don't know. Just one second, just got a text here. So let me just get back here to the chat. Um, one second, my screen on YouTube just shrunk big time. <laughs> so one second here. All right, there we go. All right, so I think with this one, if I remember correctly, uh, just got to just got to wing it. Just gotta go. Ready? Go. And just go. Nope. You just gotta time it right. It's just a timing thing. Just when it flips. And just hope. So something like that. So notice how it, it, you kind of meet the stage. So it, it's literally a thing where you gotta... With, with, with the momentum. You will see it. That was too soon. Ready? Go. That was too late. Just gotta find the right time to do it. Nine fifty-eight. Too late. Too early. It's just a matter of finding it, yeah. For nine, for the eight. That was close. That was close. Nine, eight. Oh, that was it. Again, just momentum. You just gotta figure out the right momentum. Save that replay. Because that one was lucky. What was the next one here? Oh, the one with the comb. Yes, I remember this one. All right, this is GameCube. This is GameCube all day. So you just got to go in between the lines, pretty much. It won't hit you as long as you're in between the lines. Then you just got to go the other way. Goal! But I think I missed the uh, bananas, so you know what? I'm going to go get the other ones. I think this one I can get a hundred percent. Fairly confident I can. No sense in rushing. There you go. Perfect. 
Yeah, but has anyone else uh, looked into Metroid Dread? I know that one was uh, very uh, highly sought after by people. So that one, if I remember correctly, it, that's a 2D game though, right? Or is it 2.5D? Um, I know there were, there were some stealth elements, I guess, with these robots. I think they're called EMMIs, Emmys, where you can't destroy them, but they always hunt you down or something like that. If anyone can educate me, that'd be great. Beehive. All right. So as you can see, there are far too many rings in this one. So you kind of just want to bounce around and hope you don't hit the holes. And this one kind of arcs. There you go. 95 bananas. That's just way too much. All right. Another one completed. 4 3. Dynamic maze. Oh boy. All right. So this maze changes. Kind of got to figure out my way. Just wait for this one to lift. Ah, it's that one. Okay. All right, so it's that way. Hopefully it raises. There it is. Not 100% sure, but I believe it's strictly 2D. Okay. But am I right? There's like these, these robots that follow you and you can't destroy them. Like, I think they follow you through the whole game, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of like... Uh, Let's say Nemesis, Nemesis in Resident Evil. Or Tyrant. It's like a thing. Uh, it's a persistent enemy. Alright, so next is 4-5. Triangle Holes. Alright. Ooh. Right, so once you get to a certain point, you want to just, uh, you got to slow down. Ready? Go. So I think with this one, you might have to get the sheer momentum and just go. Yep. That's what you gotta do. Ready? Go. So you gotta go back. Get all the momentum you can. Just make it a straight shot. There it is. Go. There's a trick to every stage. Four dash six launchers. Oh, I remember this one. Yes, the plungers. All right, so there are two goals here. And you kind of got to just stand. Eventually, one will knock you to where you need to go. Ready? 
Then you kind of got to just like arrange the camera in such a way So this one is tricky. And there's two goals too that you gotta get. So one is directly. Nope. And sometimes the momentum is just too much. So the idea is you could get launched up top and you you get up top and then you uh, land like there. Um, you land on the platform up top. Let's see this one I'm just steering way too much. It's just tricky. It's really luck. I don't know if there's a method to the to the madness. Oh, that one just knocked me out immediately. Ready? Go. It's very it's very devious, no question about it. I think if you stand, like right here, it's not as bad. Alright, well, I was wrong. Oh boy, it launched me back to the beginning. That just was like, nope, not happening. All right, so maybe try the others here. See if it if it hits me at the tip. That'll be a little easier to manage. That way the bounce isn't as bad. I think that's the trick. Kind of got to just wait on the corner here. And that'll do it. Hurry up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Just trial and error. You just got to find out what it is. If you go full speed, you're going to you're going to fall. So you kind of just want to wait like a little bit around here. That'll sometimes get you to where you need to go. Oh, goodbye. Rob gonna go now see you guys. Yeah, Sam, please feel better, buddy. Hopefully um your your asthma and everything calms down. So sorry to hear that. Alright, so Oh, it was right there too. Oh wow, he just pushed me out of the stage.
Oh, that was it. That was it. Wow. All right. That was it. That was so close. How about that? All right. So how about this square right here? Oh, man. That's rough. That is rough. Hurry up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Fall out. Ready? Go. Oh, uh, poor Tails. All right, right here. Ugh, oh, and the, the goals are right there too. All right, so this is what you want to do. Now, you kind of just want to time it so that you fall. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> but that's kind of what you want to do. That. that was right there, too. That is rough. Alright. I do this again. There, that's one. Yeah, getting that green goal, wow. That is tough. One second, just looking at a text here. I will uh, start soon.
Send them home, Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Come on, Happy to Ghoul Jack is your shooter's gonna choke. He says that much faster than mine in the movie. It's more like a, you know. What was he say? <laughs> I don't remember what he said because he says so fast. The, the random guy. Come on, Happy to Ghoul Jack is your shooter's gonna choke. Good times. Still here? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so you know what? I I, I want to get that green goal. There's got to be a way to do it. There's just got to be a way. Gonna figure it out. Oh! I touched it. I touched it. All right, so... Again, the green I gotta get on the way up, so it's really timing at this point. Gotta get it as it goes around. Oh, well, that's not that's no good. Come on now. Look at that. Look at that. I did it. Total. Total happenstance. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Gonna save that replay because that was epic. Look at that. Just tap it in. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. Price is wrong, Bob. Look at that. Look at that. A green goal. Total RNG and luck. But with enough persistence and belief, you will get it. We'll catch that replay later. Randomizer. Okay. Oh, there's more goalposts here. All right. I don't know what's going on here. Oh boy. Ready? Go. All right, this is a standard. How do I get up there? Ready? Go. I'm guessing it's just the uh, momentum. Just gotta hope you uh, you get it. All right, so I guess you gotta start off from here. Yeah, that's what it is. You, you gotta bounce and keep centering yourself, I guess. messed up. Nope. Alright, well, I got it. You just really, you gotta go straight. Like, not even...
Oh, that didn't work either. Interesting. Oh, that's evil. That is evil. Oh. Gotta go dead center. That's not dead center. Not in the slightest. Just fall off, even though I'm on there. This stinks. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Not for the faint of heart, those are looking for uh, the extra goals. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, 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 there, there we go. Alright, that's one. That's one of the extras. Alright, that's the green goal. Now how do you get the how do you get the next one though? You just gotta keep keep jumping. Nope. And the the platform is so thin. You know, you gotta just hope you land on it. Nope. Ready? Go. Nope. Ready? Go. The instant you go off center, it just, it's over. Right, well, I got on the second, I just couldn't get on the third. Got the second again. That was more of a straight shot, so I'll save that replay. Ready? Go. Hmm. All right, so I'm experimenting with with uh, not moving the stick and then moving it in between jumps. That seemed to have been a little bit more consistent that first time. I wonder. Nope. Ready? Go. Oh, <laughs> it was right there. Oh, man. Nope. It was right there. Man. Nope. Too, too crooked. That was so close. That was so close. I literally bounced off the red. Ready? Go! 
Uh, didn't quite reach it. Nope. For whatever reason, it just seems to curve to the left. Even I'm holding the analog stick straight. Yep. Nope. So, uh, for those of you watching, uh, is this the type of game that you don't mind, you don't care about the, you know, extra stuff? Or would you be compelled like me to get the hidden, like the hidden goals? Just to say you could. You don't have to. It's not a requirement by any means. But just, you get that extra satisfaction knowing you did it. to the third tier. Nope. I'm thinking with uh, the red, maybe I've got to just go from the beginning. I gotta get longer distance. That might be it. That might be what I need to do. Nope. Just to get that, that amount of speed I need to get up there. Just gotta hold it, uh, just straight. Just hope for the best. Nope. Problem is, it's RNG. It, it may not... There, the RNG may not agree with you. Ready, go. Oh, like right there. Ready, go. Good. 
Could be could be the analog stick is not straight or not calibrated. That could affect it as well. Nope. I was on the red two times. But seems to be as close as I'll get. Yeah, see already is not centered. I'm using a little hack because on the keyboard you could you could do it and I think that's easier oh I got it but I I went too fast all right well on the keyboard because it's not an analog stick you're going straight so that is more reliable than uh, the analog stick so I'm doing that, holding W on the keyboard, because I'm going perfectly straight, no questions asked. So at least it's more consistent, so I, I can go do it that way. So it's not a hack, I mean if you're playing with the keyboard this is how you would be doing it. So it's, it's more consistent this way. Yeah, you just gotta do the speed. That's basically what it is, so... As long as you go straight, that seems to be the way to do it. Certified way to keep the line direct. Just gotta alter the speed, yeah. So I think maybe what I'll do is I will... Move back. And then... Oh, wait. Alright. I mean, I was getting it a few times, so it's possible. Ooh, all right. One, two, three. Oh, 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 right there. Boom. There it is. Alright, so what I had to do was, as I was jumping, I would let go of the accelerator. And that seems to make it easier. Save that replay. Alright, enough persistence, you will get there. Coin slots. Thank you, Jetson. Alright, so now... Oh boy. Bunch of fake... Goals. Yep. Oh, some of these are green. Alright, so these are all blue with the exception of this one, which is green. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, they eventually fall. Okay. So you gotta get them as they fall. That's the... That's the way to do it. Let's wait until he spazzes out. That's what I gotta do. Alright, timing. Alright. One. He's about to spaz out. You get it as it spazzes out. It falls in the slot. Ooh, that's quick. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. <laughs> I fell with it. All right. Oh, that is fast. That is fast. Whoops. Too fast. Wow. That one's tricky. I don't know, because there seems to be a way to slow it down. So you know what? Because the other stage with the green was um, based on momentum, maybe this is another thing where you need to uh, to wait a certain time. And just wait. So that was too early. Maybe this is uh, better. Oh, that was close. That was close. Okay. <clears throat> Around 53 seconds is when you go. You just gotta time this right for when... It makes that descent. There it is. It's just timing. That's all it is. Perfect. Heck yeah, I will save that. So it's around 53.5 seconds. You just haul it full speed. And you will get it. Very nice. What was it? 4-9, Seesaw Bridges. Alright. 
So view the stage. There's a... Alright, so these bridges, I think they sway around. So that's what you gotta... You gotta watch out for. Nope. Alright, so that one I've gotta... I gotta go on the left side. Whoops. Too fast. So these things are constantly turning. Oh, that might have been... Oh, no. Nope. You just kind of caught a weight. Then just follow the trail of rings. And that's kind of your guide to how you need to do this. Oh. You gotta follow the rings. All right. I get it. The rings are your guide. As you follow the rings, you are okay. Again, follow the rings. Oh, all right. Not quite. But I get it now. Rings are your guide. Right. And this one, same thing. Want to avoid these. Ah. Uh. Too slow. Ready? Go. Oh. I, I gotta turn right. I don't know why. I don't know why I went left. Again, every stage has its trick, and you know, just trial and error, repetition, you will be falling a lot, but eventually you get the hang of it, or eventually you'll get lucky. So, like here. You want to go this way. And then keep on moving. Uh, too slow. Ready? Go. So I think with that last one, I just need speed. The faster you go, the less time it'll have to tilt around. Uh, I messed up there. Ready? Go. Again, I don't think it's ever frustrating. 
you know, it's tough but fair. Because again, there is a pattern to everything. All right, so I got to remember here. There we go. And now I want to get momentum and then and kind of ride the saw. There you go. Eventually you will do it. Luckily there's no alternate goal in that one. Alright, so next one should be the last stage in this world. Anthrop Arthropod. Oh, the spider guy. Yeah, I remember him from GameCube. Yep. Yeah. You just gotta make sure he doesn't step on you. Whoops. There's a gold, so this thing keeps spinning. Is there another goal? No, just this one. Alright. Matter of timing. Just gotta wait until the goal appears. And then just boogie. It's coming up, coming up, coming up. Coming up. Uh, there it is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ready? Go. So close. Alright, you just gotta wait for it. It's coming up. See it on the map. There it is. That's your... Oh, the foot knocked me out. How about that? I will get it, though. I will get it. If I can do the other stages, I can do this. Just a matter of moving to the right at the right time. Ah, the foot got right in my way. Alright. And now will be my chance... Oh, the fuck out of my way again. Finally back. Had to take my parents somewhere quick. Well, guess it wasn't quick. It's all good. Dan Chad just wanted to say hi. Thank you so much, VGDS. If anyone wants their dust sleeves or needs a dust sleeve for a video game, check out video game dust sleeves. It's the best. The best that I've seen. No one does it quite like him. So please check him out on social media. Just look up video game dust sleeves on Instagram, Twitter. Facebook. All right. Uh, uh, that was rough. But yeah, happy Friday to you, VGTS. I uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend. Please take care, my friend. All right, so now is going to be my chance. Now is going to be my chance. There it is. With enough tries, you will eventually break through that barrier. Threading the needle, got an achievement. Alright. Are they gonna dance again? Super Monkey Ball Show 5. Ah, the amusement park stage. Time to look for Dr. Badboon. But Mimi has an idea. Time to dance. 
What a deep and layered story, right? Ready? Go. This is GameCube, for sure. Um, but, you know what, before I go into this world, how about we do, uh, we unlock some more things. Check out those sick replays of somehow me getting those, uh, Greasy replays. Missions. Gallery. Replays. How about that pro skaters? Check this out. Ready? Go. Just wait until the right time. Boom! Amazing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. You should do the Halloween podcast with us tomorrow. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Um, ah, I don't know just yet, uh, VGDS. Uh, I do have a family thing in the early afternoon or afternoonish, but depending on weather, I I don't know. I, I think you said you were going to do it late, right? It was like midnight. Uh, I, 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 I can't tell you just yet. I don't know. I don't want to commit to something that I may not have an opportunity to actually be there for. Um, but I will try to let you know later tonight on Discord, and uh, we shall see. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, 10, 10 o'clock. Okay, I could have sworn I saw something for midnight. But uh, I, I will let you know later tonight. Thank you for reminding me. Alright, check out this sick replay here. Launchers. Somehow I got it. So I, I go to the left. I go to the plunger on the left here. The one that's past the, uh, the pole. So I go to the center. But in the center, I kind of hold it to the uh, bottom right. And boom. Instant goal. Good times. So nice you got to see it twice. You're welcome. Not a problem. Yeah, I will let you know. Um, I'm not actually. I'm not a big Halloween guy, to be honest. I've never in, in my family we never were raised to dress up or celebrate Halloween. Not really sure what I can contribute to the, the conversation in that regard. I do love me some scary movies, though. Scary games, yeah. All right. So what else do we have here for replay? It's randomizer. Ah, so the green goal. Green goal. Go. Alright. One, two, three, four. Boom. Like butter. And then the red goal. Games, yep. Yeah, no, Cass, uh, just being raised in a Spanish family, we're not raised to really celebrate Halloween. It's not anything that people celebrate in Latin America. That's a, that's a North American culture. Ooh, I got saved. I got saved. Boom. Not the smoothest, but you know what? It works for me. You're a little less cool than I thought. I mean, I, I never said I was cool, so hate to break it to you, but yeah, we, we were just never raised. We were never raised to trick or treat. We were never raised to dress up because, um, again, you have to keep in mind in Hispanic cultures, um, you know, Halloween is originally, again, a, 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 uh, a day to be weary of the dead and uh, the spirits, and in Latin America, we don't we don't touch spirits with a ten foot pole. Um, you you were always raised as a Hispanic, no matter what country you're from. You respect the dead. You don't have Ouija boards. You don't conjure spirits. You don't mess with the natures. Um, so because of that, Halloween is kind of seen as an affront because people mock the dead unintentionally or not, but they mock the dead. 
Um, so yeah, we were just never raised to do that. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, regardless of what your personal beliefs may be, if you believe in spirits or not, um, just in, in general, the Hispanic culture is taught never to mess with that. Or else. I and Caraldo was brought up in a very similar way. Yeah, there you go, see? Jet Santa. So again, it, there may be Hispanic cultures that um, that don't or don't abide by those rules. It's just that I was. <laughs> so that's all I know. Smooth. Look at that. Look at that smooth goal. Look at that. Look at that. I just got to see it again. That's so good. So basically the trick to this, this uh, 4-8, <clears throat> you got to wait until the timer ticks down to around 53.5 seconds. And you haul it right now. You just go full speed, and if you're lucky enough, the green will meet you with that momentum, and you're good to go. Look at that. Pro strats, huh? You're welcome. I trick-or-treated when I was really young, but by middle school, I was having sleepovers with my friends, watching scary movies all night, doing tarot readings, using a Ouija board. Yeah, see? Ouija board is something that to the Hispanic cultures is, and again, the Ouija board is by its nature, you're inviting spirits into your home. Um, and that's kind of an open gateway, whether or not it's negative energies or positive energies, it's any type of energy that answers the beacon as it were. And we are just told, don't do that. Why, why are you going to do that? So. If that makes me less cool, okay, it's all good. <laughs> so, you know, we got a few minutes to go, but you know what? Let, let's do some party games here. Uh, what what did we not do? We, did, we didn't do... Uh, did I do billiards? I don't know if I did. Last week, we did monkey fight, bowling, baseball, So how about we do uh, monkey soccer, huh? All right, got to figure out the controls here. Offense shoot is A, and then slide. Pass is B. Change your character is Y. Dive. Okay, well... And again, I'm Spanish, but I don't even like soccer that much, to be honest. Nah, it doesn't make you less cool. Makes sense if you weren't brought up to celebrate it. It's all right, Cass. You could tell me. You could tell me I'm less cool. It's all good. I know I'm less cool. Oh, look, they're all wearing shades because they're all super cool. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> baby did not move at all. Thank you, baby. Goal! Yes, sir. Another goal. Yeah, gone, gone. Take that, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Oh, no. oh, you stinker, baby. I'm not a fan. What are you doing? Yeah, take that, baby. Halloween has always been one of my favorite times of year. Even now, I love handing out candy. I wish I got more trick-or-treaters, though. I do full-size candy bars and blind bags. Nice. Oh, 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 nope. Yeah, oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. 
Look, get that, get that, get that. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Feel bad, boy. Do those trick shots. Four to one. All right. Take that, gone, gone. Another goal. Yes. All right, 12 seconds, 12 seconds, come on. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Half time. No skimming on the candy. Full size Twix, please. I always let the kids take handfuls because no one comes on my street. I get 10 trick or treaters if I'm lucky. You know what's interesting? Well, obviously, you know, Cass. Living in an apartment building and no one really trick or treats here. Interesting. Oh, if you look at the, uh, the buildings here, it's very much like Greece. It looks like Greece. Nope, nope, nope. Gone, gone. You were just standing there, bro. What are you doing? He literally just stood there. All right, I, I didn't remember I'm on the other half here. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Achieved a hat trick. All right. Yes, sir. All right, boys. Let's go. Nope. Get that, get that, get that. Oh, you blocked it. All right. Good. Block that, sucker. Yeah. Uh, you would never see soccer games, uh... It scores like that. It was just impossible. In a, in a real soccer game, you would never see that. Nope, 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 nope. Dude, Gangan, Gan, you're not doing anything. What, what is he doing? Bro. He's just standing there. Like a dum dum. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is the most exhilarating soccer game I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. Look at these trick shots, baby. Three to eight. You guys just just give up. You should. Oh, oh, wait, wait, no, no. Nope. No, gone, gone, you. You can't control the goalie, apparently. They're just sitting there like dummies. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. Haha. <laughs> right, was that nine to three, nine to four? Nine to four. All right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Gone. Gone. Nope. Nope. Goal! Yeah. Yes, sir. Ten to four. Give up. Give up. You may just give up. Come on. You're only delaying the inevitable here. Five seconds to go. Come on. Can I achieve the impossible? Can I achieve it? Ah. Uh. All right. Ten to four. You guys were destroyed. Done. It's over. You might as well quit. Hat trick. Wow. Gangan was made for this game mode. Gangan was always my guy, man. He's wide. He's a big boy like me. Yes, sir. Six oh three. How about we do one more? So the games we could do are Monkey Target, uh, Monkey Billiards, Monkey Golf. Monkey Boat, Monkey Dogfight, 
or Monkey Tennis. Which of those will be the last uh, game mode that we can do tonight? What say you? You know, Big Cass, we're, we're going to have to talk soon. I, I miss hearing your wows. I miss hearing you, my friend. Hopefully we can talk soon. Tennis? All right, cool. The monkeys have their rackets and are ready to play some tennis. Win the game by serving up those aces. All right, singles, yep. Uh, monkey jungle. Tennis court in the jungle. This is the best place to practice the game as the ball speed is slower. All right. Uh, what are the buttons here? Move around. Top spin smashes A. Slice spin is B. Whatever that means. Lob is X. All right. Whatever. Wow. It's been far too long, my friend. All right, AA, you're going down, bro. Yeah. Gotcha, bro. Smash ace completed. 15. All right. Serve it. Oh, I get to serve? Oh, what? Are you kidding me? God, God, what are you doing, bro? What is this? You hit the net? Come on, gone, gone. Come on, bro. He didn't even hit it. There we go. Tied. Out. Come on. Come on, bro. Out, come on, come on, that wasn't my fault. That's lame, that is lame. Come on, Ganga, why, why are you hitting this so hard? Come on, bro. Gone, gone. Bro, what is this? You're killing me. Wow. This is, this is really bad. I like how there's an A just sitting on the uh, the bench there. Bro. Out. Oh, I lost. That was that was brutal. That was terrible. Catch up with the chat in a second, but it is. Ow. 
Ah, ha, ha, gotcha. Smash Ace. That's right, a eh? Fault. What? Oh my god. What? Can't even serve it now? Come on, bro. Great. So now, now we're all caught up now. Oh, this is... This is terrible. Come on. Out again. <laughs> oh my god. Are we serious here? I love how A is not even touching the ball sometimes. It somehow registers. But, I mean, I can enjoy this now, but it's not... Lord. It's not going to work. Here we go. Here we go. Game's over. Oh, this is terrible. That should have been out of bounds, but somehow it worked in my favor. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, he won. Brutal, brutal. Alright friends, I have to head out. Thanks for the stream, Aldo. Talk to you soon. Bye everyone, enjoy your weekend. Alright, Big Cass. He's on the juice. Yeah, he's on something. AA's a cheater. Look at this. Why? I can't control where the ball goes. Come on now. Finally. Yes, take care, Cass. Have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully we can chat. Oh, you missed. Are you you're taking pity on me, AA? He's taking pity on me, isn't he? Right. Set. it's out. Now it's tied. I I wins. What? How to get come on I, I can't control where the ball goes. What is that? Change 
That's absolutely terrible. Why is this game not ending? Look at this. Look at this. I, <laughs> I can't control where the ball goes. Come on. Oh, my word. This is just falling apart horribly. All right, gone, gone. Let's. We're not playing baseball here. We're not going for home runs. Oh wow! No worries, barnacles. You were ju you're not missing much. You're missing me getting massacred here in monkey tennis. I'm not even smashing it, and it's going out. Come on. Oh, my word. I, what, would this game be over? Like, what is this? Can you win already? Like this is uh, this is embarrassing to the nth degree. I don't really understand the uh, the mechanics here. I'm just afraid I'm going to hit it out of bounds. So I'm like I'm trying not to hit it too hard. Like like in that case. Change court. I, this game is just taking way too long. This is yes no. <laughs> We're going to end this torture because I was not going to win that. Um, but anyway, you know what? Let me go to the shop and see what we could buy. So in terms of characters, um, could get these characters, but could also get these special modes. 34,000. Original stage mode. Yep. And then DX. So those are the DX stages. So I think you go to main game. Uh, let's say, for example, you go here. Um, special mode. Challenge yourself with the original versions of the 23 stages. Now with adjusted difficulty. Can you clear these blasts from the past with the original difficulty from 2001 and 2002? And then DX mode, challenge yourself with the stages from Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. Many splendid stages await you. So you get to play them in the order that they were in on the GameCube. Very cool. You know what, let's do one stage. Catwalk. All right. Ready? Oh, this is this is just a tight a tight rope. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, that that one didn't work. Oh, I got those original sounds too. All right. Oh, I messed up. Ready? Go. All right, so now this gets thinner. Oh. 
So is this one, you just need to get the, uh, all the bananas? Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm guessing that. Oh no, the goal is right there. Alright, so you gotta get the goal. Ooh, that's a... They start you off right there with, with the hard one. Attempt this one. <laughs> Good luck. I mean, that one's a straight shot to the goal. That one's crazy. I mean, if you're really good. But yeah. Ooh. You would just need to go... Uh, you would need to go perfectly straight. Which is much easier said than done. It is possible, though. It is possible. Ready, go. You just, you just gotta go straight. That's hard. Go. Perfectly straight. So, like with the camera. So you're not going straight there. You gotta. And the camera doesn't play nice. Doesn't allow me to, to be straight. Because if I go straight. Oh. That is rough. Hey, Waves and Games. What is going on? Happy Friday to you. Welcome. We are going on overtime here, but it's all right. We, we are getting there. We, we're going to do this stage here. On Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. It is the... Uh, Original mode with the GameCube stages, and gosh darn it, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Hopefully, it's, it's not a guarantee. Nope. So basically, it would be a straight shot here to get to the goal. Because the thing is, this gets thinner and thinner. To the point where it's just as thin as this one. So it doesn't make sense to do the other ones. You might as well just do this and hope for the best. Ready, go. Nope. Ready, go. Nope. Ready, go. Wow. Ready, go. Well, I got, I got three bananas in. I think this is as far as I'm going to go. Oh, my word. I did it. <laughs> got to save that replay. Gotta save that replay. That is something else. Wow. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that replay? 
if you if you didn't, you're gonna see it now because that was absolute luck. Look at that, just a straight shot on that very thin platform. I had to turn the camera and just go. Wow. Look at that. I didn't realize here you can move the camera around, so... So just to show you... You know how thin that platform was? The, the millimeter you move to the left or right, you're falling off. There's, there's no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Alright, well, I feel accomplished now that I did that, so... Well, that's enough of that. And that's the old Super Monkey Ball music, too. Look at that. Alright, so... Yeah, we're, we're a little over time here on the Video Game Club, but that's okay. It's 6.25. Um, so let me just say thank you to those of you who are hanging around here. Let me give a personal shout-out to all of you. Waves and Games, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Please enjoy, my friend. Bones, thank you for being here from the beginning for the first, for hanging out. Uh, barnacles, load of barnacles, uh, thank you for stopping in. You know who you are. Appreciate you coming in and supporting our little stream here that we do here at the libraries. We do this again every Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just a way to, you know, because of the... Of the lockdown and and covid world that we live in we're still not having a, really any in-person events at the library so um we're doing this virtually you know it's safe that way it keeps people at home and and safe with their loved ones so uh jets and 10 thank you for stopping by as always my friend thank you for all the positive encouragement big cast thank you for just being you for being awesome and I'm, again i'm so happy to hear uh, rupee is okay and let me see, 8-Bit Glitch, thank you for stopping by, hope you feel better, hopefully that cold subsides soon. Video Game Dust Leaves, thank you for stopping in, my friend. I will let you know tonight, hopefully, about that podcast. Uh, let's see, who else am I missing? Oh, Linda! How could I forget Linda the Game Girl, thank you for stopping in. Hopefully, uh, we're able to get some work done. Not lurking the whole time. Sam, thank you for stopping in again. Been a while, uh, hopefully you're asthma subsides and hopefully you feel better as well my friend please take it easy take care um great job brother thank you bones appreciate it love you man question mark i don't know life is full of questions so i don't know we it could be something that you may question it's always good to question right so yeah uh I don't know. I'm going to throw a poll on our Twitter uh, meant to do exclamation mark. Okay, I hear you. I was just, I was just teasing. Uh, I will uh, do a Twitter poll in the coming days to see if you would like for me to continue Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania or if you would like me to return to Ukulele because there's still some unfinished business with that game or something else. Uh, so I will... Throw a poll on our Twitter page again. Uh, if you follow our social media handles, which uh, during the gameplay portion, uh, it was right on top of me. Not anymore, but if you just search Nora Public Library, you'll you'll find our handles. So again, thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate it. And again, before I leave, just to give another quick shout out for the charity stream I'll be doing. So this again, this will be my personal personal stream uh, not affiliated with the library so this will be on saturday november 6th on behalf of extra life and uh looking to raise some money for children in need sick children so if you would be so inclined you could check out my twitch handle uh, or my twitch page there in the chat as well as the donation page if you are interested i will formally make a video about this uh, hopefully tonight but uh, as of right now, Saturday, November 6th, it'll be 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so a four-hour stream as normal. And just playing some games, having some fun, and uh, playing games for a good cause to help out children in need. So you really can't ask for more. So 
Again, thank you so much for hanging out today at the Video Game Club. Hope you all have a wonderful and prosperous weekend. Please be safe. Enjoy your time with one another. Enjoy your time with your loved ones. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be safe. And we will catch you here next Friday here at the Norwalk Public Library YouTube channel, 4 to 6 p.m. And as always, it's the NPL Video Game Club. So take care. This is Aldo signing off on behalf of the Norwalk Public Library. Take care. We will catch you next week right here on the NPL Video Game Club. Take care. <laughs>